For the third time this month, a U.S. government official is experiencing symptoms of Havana syndrome. The Wall Street Journal reports that the CIA has recently evacuated an intelligence officer serving in Serbia after suffering serious injuries consistent with this mysterious disease. Havana syndrome got its namesake in 2016 after 26 diplomats and their families in Havana, Cuba began experiencing dizziness, headache, fatigue, nausea, anxiety, memory loss, even brain damage. The cause is believed to be some sort of device emitting ultrasonic or microwave energy. Tracy Walder is a former CIA officer and FBI special agent. Tracy, is this something where people are being targeted? Is this some type of security issue? Thank you for having me, Adrian. I, I absolutely think that this is a targeted attack, and I, I believe that this is not just a security issue, but I believe that this is a national security issue. Um, you know, we are seeing very targeted attacks towards people like Director Burns, people like Vice President Harris, um, and also, you know, other CIA officers and State Department officials. And to me, this is extremely concerning, and I absolutely believe that this is a targeted attack. You mentioned the Vice President. Uh, what symptoms was she having, or what do we know about her case. So the vice president herself was not the target. It sounds like people um, who were part of her, her security detail were targets. They were suffering from things like dizziness, memory loss, nausea, extreme headaches. Those are the types of symptoms that seem pretty consistent across the board with Havana syndrome. Now, this seemed like a whole bunch of bunk to a lot of people, like a, a rumor or some type of, you know, something you might hear in a spy movie. Uh, but now we're hearing about these symptoms. There's been so much mystery surrounding it, though. I, I don't think people quite understand. Uh, for those who are experiencing this, these symptoms, what is the remedy? So that's a difficult question to answer because I think the problem is, is we don't necessarily understand exactly where Havana syndrome is coming from. Um, some of the things I think we've discovered is that this is probably some kind of a radio frequency. I've heard one of the solutions to the problem is using satellites in space that are tracking radios, um, radio frequencies from the earth. Um, but the problem with that is it's extremely broad. Um, and I don't know how you could sort of target a specific individual to try to stop these attacks. Uh, we do know that you do need line of sight for the most part to conduct these attacks. So one of the things we could do is look at increasing security in our embassies, perhaps you know boarding up windows, things like that. Um, but I think for the time being, um, it's gonna be very difficult to fight this. Basically the brain is sort of a new, new battlefield, I guess. This is, it's so fascinating and so sci-fi. The Biden administration has called this crisis a, quote, top priority. Uh, so I know that we'll be hearing more about this. If, I wish it wasn't called Havana syndrome because that kind of makes it seem like it's, you can catch it. It's really like Havana attack, but you don't want to make I it about Cuba. So it's really, we need to change the name. That's, I absolutely that's, agree with you. Yeah, that's my two cents. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Tracy. I rarely give my two cents, but it would be a lot more clear for the American people if we knew what in the world we were talking about. You helped make it clear. Thank you.